Uh, I'm going to bring you up individually and I want you to stay up here. Okay? Cool? Great. Uh, uh, Chris Harding. That's Chris Harding. Oh. Uh, Chris Harding, uh, wow. I've been coaching volleyball for 20, I think 21 years now, okay? And, I know, 21 years now, man. Uh, this is a story that I've never ex been experienced with. Uh, a guy not playing, or uh, playing volleyball last year as a freshman coming in and actually ended up starting for us on the varsity team in the Sunset League. I mean, yes, our record wasn't great, but he did things this year that I've never seen a kid do before. And for me, it was very exciting at the end of the year to see him just continue to get better and improve and improve. And improve. I also think it was uh, pretty exciting for some of our younger kids to see as well. And, you know, his future is extremely bright. I have a feeling he's gonna go places uh, with the sport. He's uh, very dynamic as far as his athleticism, also his height, the fact that he's a lefty, a little bit different look than most of you guys out there who are right-handed. He's gonna be extremely special in the sport and uh, uh, pretty excited for the future for him and for Esperanza Model. That's uh, Chris Harding. Uh, Chris Ryan. <laughs> Okay, uh, Chris Ryan, sophomore middle blocker, also a scholar athlete, we have quite a few of those. Uh, at the beginning of the year, I, I basically, there was a kid who played for us last year, his first year playing, I didn't know if he was going to come out or not, and I kind of, when I didn't know if the kid was going to come out or not, I just said, you know what, just don't do us any favors to the kid, and just do whatever you got to do. And I was actually fairly excited for Chris coming out and playing, because I knew he wanted to be there. And uh, I knew he uh, was going to be a big part of our program in his future. I don't think he was ready to be on varsity as a sophomore. I mean, coming from the Frost off team and skipping the JV altogether and going directly to the varsity and end up starting uh, was, uh, was probably an eye-opening experience for him. And I don't think that's what he really wanted this year. I think he wanted to play with his friends, the sophomores on the JV team. But I just convinced him that it's going to happen. It has to happen. You're the next best guy and it's going to be your job and you got to figure it out. And um, at times I was extremely tough on him and uh, I think some of the other guys were as well, but again, expectations. You know? uh, Esperanza, since I've been here, we've been fairly successful and I think he's a kid who once he figures it out and plays really hard and plays with some passion and some excitement, he's pretty good. And I think he's going to excel in the sport. Um, Excited for his future as well. I definitely think he has potential to go places in the sport and win a lot of matches in the next two years. And who knows after that? So, look forward to seeing him continue to grow and as a ball player and as a person. It's Chris Ryan. Yes, hey. Also a scholar athlete. Nice job. Uh, Justin Spring, this is my second spring that I've coached, and I've coached a lot of siblings in the past, on the girl side and on the boy side, and uh, it's tough, it's tough, because it's easy to make comparisons, and I think I compared him once or twice, and I don't think it was fair for me to do that um, with him. He, he's a great kid, just like his brother, if I compare him, they, they're very much alike. I know I'm, I shouldn't be, but I am. They're very much alike in that they work really hard. Okay, and that comes from their family, and their family's great. But the one thing I really appreciate about him is just how much he wants to be good at something. If it's volleyball, or being a vice president at Esperanza, or being a good student, whatever he wants to excel with, he does. And um, this year I gave him a hard time quite a few times about his serve, and kind of gave him that spot to let him serve in the matches. And he, he struggled with it at times, but you know what, after talking with him a couple of times, I always noticed when I walk out of the gym at 5, 5.30, he was one of the guys who was there serving balls. So it's obvious to me that he wants to excel at this, he wants to excel at the sport, and I love his work ethic. He's a great kid, and I look forward to having him on varsity next year. Jason Norris. Another scholar athlete. 
Uh, Jason Norris, better known by the fellows as the Ninja. <laughs> Don't get it, but whatever. Um, <laughs> Jason is a junior, uh, DS slash libero, and he, uh, this was his first year on varsity. At first, I kind of didn't know what he was going to do. He's one of our better athletes, um, believe it or not. And as far as like, if you watch him hit, if you watch him serve, whatever he's doing, he's fairly athletic. And uh, so at first, I was kind of like, where are you going to compete as a libero with uh, Brian? And, and I don't think the competition lasts as long as he would have liked. But towards the end, there was one match we were playing Reina, and he, after we won the first or second game, he goes, can I play libero? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And I gave him a chance, and he did a pretty good job at it. And if he wasn't playing libero in practice, he was digging, making incredible digs and serving well. He just does a really good job at everything. I would like to see him be a little bit better with his serve in the future, and I think that's something where he can improve and maybe help us out a little bit next year with it. But um, he's a, an excellent kid, excellent student, and a pleasure to have on the team, even if he is a ninja. Which is really good. Cool. Oh. Okay, uh, scholar athlete as well, another bright kid, taking care of business in the classroom as well. Uh, junior outside hitter, fairly tall kid. Uh, can the sister grow a little bit more? Um, uh, no, I'm joking. He, uh, no, I'm not joking, but uh, Johnny, Johnny, um, he, I didn't know how much he was going to play this year. I just kind of took him for his height and took him for um, his personality. He's got a great personality, works really hard, and, and wants to be good at the sport. And if it's passing or hitting or blocking, whenever he had a chance to uh, do something in practice, uh, he, he, he did some things in practice. And in, in the matches as well, at times we had a chance, he didn't do so bad. There was one day um, in particular where he hit a ball in, in practice and we all kind of stopped and looked around. <laughs> and John doesn't talk a lot in practice. He jogs over and he looks at me and I'm like, who is this guy? And he goes, yeah, that was me, coach. Because <laughs> he's proud of himself, right? I mean, he hammered the ball, it was a really good hit. And I said to him, I said, if that just happened a little bit more often, I mean, you might get some playing time, a little bit more playing time next year. I definitely think there's some hope for you. And uh, he, I think he's still growing into his body. He, he's, he's still maturing as a young man, and he's got really crazy hair. Uh, <laughs> but we all like it. He's, he's a great kid, and I uh, look forward to coaching him again next year. Thank you. 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 Th